Abolishing the Cabinet Committee on Economic Management, headed by the Prime Minister, was discussed at the Cabinet meeting held yesterday. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Management, or the CCEM, comprises of Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, R. Paskara Lingam, Charita Ratwatta, and the Secretary to the Ministry of Finance, R. H. S. Samaratunga. There was a debate yesterday. It takes a long time for the discussions. We have to complete the development programs within another one and a half years. It can't be done during the last six months. This being the case, how can it be achieved? First, we must determine which projects affect the people. Second, how can we reduce the time frame when they go through committees of this nature. There were two suggestions that were made. One is to bring the proposals directly to the cabinet like before after abolishing the CCEM. If there needs to be extensive discussions, then that can be done through a cabinet subcommittee. Then there will be no delay. There was another suggestion to take the major projects there and to do the minor projects through the cabinet. The Prime Minister agreed to this. Everyone agreed. We will decide in the future as to what needs to be done. Co-Cabinet spokesperson Minister Dayasiri Jayasekara said since decisions can be made through the Cabinet of Ministers, there would be no requirement for a subcommittee of this nature. It has been discussed that there is a delay when decisions are being taken through this subcommittee. The National Economic Council, headed by the President, is currently in operation and the President said during the run-up to the local government election that the responsibility of managing the economy will be taken over by him.